Ace Combat Zero is the last of the PS2 Ace Combat games, so naturally the devs went all out to give the trilogy the swan song it deserved, by making it have less content than 5. And also it's shorter. Zero feels kind of like an expansion pack for Ace Combat 5. If there were Burial at Sea type DLCs in 2006, then Zero would have been one of them. Reviews at the time shared a similar sentiment, but I think IGN summed it up nicely when they said, So while it doesn't ampersand pound sign array semicolon T feel revolutionary, fans and non-fans will have a hard time caring. If I'm in the mood for a quick fix of Ace Combat, Zero is my go-to game. The Ace Combat formula has been polished to near perfection here. Zero's signature gimmick is the Ace Style Meter. Your typical video game morality system usually just makes you pick between the goody two-shoes button or the be a douchebag for no reason button. But Ace Combat Zero lets you choose through gameplay. Blowing up non-threatening targets gives you a mercenary rating, but if you allow injured fighters to escape for some reason, then you're seen as a noble knight. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you get Soldier. Depending on which flavor you choose, different enemy ace squadrons will appear during missions. These guys are the best addition to Zero, and each unique squadron actually uses different tactics, which means you gotta think a little bit about how you're gonna kill them. It's a huge improvement over previous games, where if you saw an enemy ace, you'd think, wow, I bet that guy can turn really fast. You can also give orders to your wingman, but the fact that I forgot to mention that feature in my review of the game that's literally called Squadron Leader shows how little it actually does. The game's Arthurian vibe is enough to distinguish it from others in the series, and the way the story is told through interviews with your enemies is a neat concept, but apparently Electronic Gaming Monthly didn't think so. The plot stars a cast of live actors doing community theater in front of CG backgrounds. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. Wait, he gave it a 5.5? The Belkin War is shrouded in mystery. Except for the fact that literally every single combatant is willing to talk openly about it in an extended interview. Yeah, I was in a terrorist cult to try to blow up the whole world. Ha ha ha, oopsie daisy. Pixie is supposed to be your BFF, but he feels more like a workplace acquaintance than a trusted friend. His betrayal is still a what the F moment, mostly because you probably put down your controller to eat some Doritos since the mission was over, but then you gotta dodge a random missile. It's a real dick move that makes me hate Pixie more than his brief stint as a terrorist ever could. Besides the round table levels, the first real standout mission is Excalibur. Hey, do you think we should make the laser beam be able to move around in the air instead of sitting still for 10 seconds? I mean, we are trying to hit small objects that are moving faster than the speed of sound. Well, we could do that, or we could spend that time making sure that if the tower ever randomly gets cut in half, then it will look really cool while it falls. Hey, cool, you guys got a glape near too? Oh wait, it's already dead. Well, PJ, that sure was a crazy war. But it looks like we're both gonna make it home alive. I'm gonna call from back at the base. Wait. I'm gonna propose to her when I get PJ, back. PJ, no, don't say it! I have a lot of flowers! The way you have to literally joust Pixie to beat him is pretty clever. And I don't care what anyone else thinks, Zero is the best song in the whole series. Fight me in the comments. Yo, buddy. Still alive? Whoa, 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 you are not my buddy, dude. You tried to kill me several times. If I could rewrite the ending, I would have him say, Yo, buddy. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Zap Troxix, for the gameplay footage, and Merry Christmas.